this is just a quick update uh, to help connect some dots. The vitamin K2 story can be fairly confusing. In fact, you see a lot of emotion, a lot of hype around it, uh, maybe more so than the facts. This is just a, a nice infographic that I found on the internet. And it helps, again, understand some of the connections. So there's a protein called uh, Matrix GLA protein, uh, MGP. It actually uh, helps uh, some of the activities which decrease calcium in the artery wall. However, and that gets back to, uh, to some hormones, which we won't cover right now. Basically, we want to get back up to the K2 story. In order for MGP, GLA, uh, the matrix GLA protein, to be active, though, it has to be carboxylated. In order to be carboxylated, it has to, there has to be some K2 involved. You may remember a recent video that I did, basically out of one of the, the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. It mentions that GLA protein and talks about carboxylation of that protein. Protein ma uh, matrix gamma carboxyglutamic acid. So in this article, what we were talking about is decreasing carboxylation with gamma car uh, the gamma carboxylation uh, enzyme. So again, some difficult connections to make and I think after we get some repetition on that and uh, get it out there a few times and just some simple messages like that, we'll start to get the picture on what's the mechanism that's uh, causing so much excitement behind K2. Thanks for your interest. My name is Ford Brewer. I started off as an ER doc, became, became very frustrated with the fact that most things that bring people into the ER were preventable like heart attack and stroke. I went to Johns Hopkins to get training and ended up running the program there in prevention. There I trained dozens of docs and again that was three decades ago. Since then I've trained thousands of docs and even more importantly um, supervised those docs and even most importantly helped thousands of patients prevent things like heart attack and stroke. Uh, Waiting for, a, for the disease and hoping for a cure for this kind of devastation doesn't work. Come to uh, Louisville, no, November 8th and 9th. We have a boot camp type of environment for two days where you learn all the things that you didn't learn from your doc in terms of heart attack, stroke prevention, things like cardiovascular inflammation, how to detect it, how to measure it, things like uh, insulin resistance, the number one cause of inflammation, how to detect it, how to measure it, how to stop it how to manage it. You also get, um, you can get the labs there if, um, for that event, if you'd like, and get a complete evaluation. In addition, you get an arterial scan called a CIMT. To get the right one of those is fairly difficult. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks.